Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch action figure review. Today I've got in front of me the San Diego Comic Con exclusive Sith Trooper from The Rise of Skywalker. Um, I had to have this. <laughs> that's, as, that's as best as I can put it. I had to have this. Um, it looks amazing. I know they're probably going to come out, come out with the figure later on in the line, later on in the year, um, particularly after Triple Force Friday on October 4th. Um, and I'd, I'd suggest that it's probably going to be part of the wave. Um, so you'll be able to get this trooper. Um, probably not with the weapons that this one comes with. So, But we'll see. Never know. Um, but this is the first one of these exclusives I've got. There has been the First Order Stormtrooper from before The Force Awakens. There was the Jin Erso in this similar box before Rogue One. And then there was Captain Rex, which came out at a convention that I can't remember. I want to first say it was a London London Expo or something. I'm not sure. So this is the fourth one they've done in this sort of style. Really nice presentation. Um, I think I would have preferred the embossed Star Wars logo there to be to be in black as well because it doesn't really jump out. Really great picture there of the Sith Trooper. Looks sweet. And that goes around the side. We get Sith Trooper and the new Sith Trooper emblem. Whether that's representative of the troopers themselves or the Sith is yet to be yet to be seen. Um, the back of the box, these sort of lines. So yeah, let's let's open it up. Now I have already done this, so I've been able to snip all the elastic bands on the figure anyway. So um, I will take him out and we'll get a look at him afterwards. So here we go, we've got the Star Wars The Black Series again, Sith Trooper up the top there. Now we get these sort of slide out trays on the back. And from what I remember, I think the First Order Stormtrooper from Before the Force Awakens came with a little booklet. Um, I never saw it, but uh, I, it was just going through a brief history of the Stormtroopers. So I think we expected a little bit of that, but um, I guess I don't want to reveal anything just yet. Uh, apparently there was a little bio of, of the Sith Trooper at San Diego Comic Con with the real life size costume, but it was quickly taken down. So we've got four weapons here and they look pretty nice. And then there's a picture on the back of the Sith Trooper. That looks awesome. So we'll remove the weapons. And they're quite tough to put in so I might just take them out and I'll come back in just a moment. Five minutes later. All right so here we have the five different weapons from this set. They were a bit of a pain to get out actually. Um, that's okay so we've got this this blaster this looks to be the the standard. Um, it's like this, the Imperial Stormtroopers have their E-11, the First Order Stormtroopers have their F-11D. This looks to be that, and it looks like it's a little bit chunkier. Looks like it might be pretty awesome. Um, the black and red looks sick. It looks great. So I'm not sure what these weapons are called yet. That's okay, we'll go into the next one. This one could also be standard. This one looks more like the F-11D, particularly from the back and on the front, it's got a sort of heavier pulse cannon look to it. That's another nice looking weapon. That could also be a standard one, but we'll see. Now we get this blade, which is pretty interesting. It's quite nice. We have this heavy Heavy Blaster, which again, I think we do know the name for this because the First Order uses these as well. Um, and we have had them with the Heavy Stormtrooper, which I actually reviewed last week. So another, another big, big blaster there, that looks cool. And then we get this doohickey here. Sort of reminds me of a mix of the First Order uh, the 
executed exec, executor troopers that came out for the last Jedi. Um, looks a little bit like that, so we'll see. But also looks like this could. Oh, there you go. It does. <laughs> it didn't look like it moved, but it does. So it's a bit bit of a clamp. So there you go. It didn't actually look like it moved, but they got me. Well done, Hasbro. So that's pretty cool. All right. So let's take a look at the figure. All right, and here he is, the Sith Trooper. This thing looks really, really cool. Um, first thing that came to mind for me um, was First Order, cross, Phase 2 clone troopers from Revenge of the Sith, uh, cross with Praetorian Guards, obviously the reds and the line work. Um, very reminiscent of um, the Praetorians. So, um, and of course, red. Of course, Sith Troopers are going to be red. Um, but the armor just looks really, really cool. Um, there's lots of lots of details and line work and all sorts of crazy stuff going on here. It's really, really sweet. Um, I would have loved to have gotten a hold of the Hot Toys. That would have been really cool as well. But, uh, just trying to get this to focus a little better. There we go. And that's too bad. You know, a little bit of reflection is giving him a little bit of an orangey look on my camera screen here, but hopefully it comes up as red on the video. So they've definitely updated the articulation from the first order stormtroopers. Um, they didn't bend their elbows all that well. Uh, I did come up with a fix uh, just to shave a little bit of little bit off, but. Uh, yeah, they just didn't bend as much as they probably should have. Whereas here we've got a really great, really great elbow bend there. So I will go through the articulation first because it's pretty sweet. Um, got the ball hinged ankles, that's pretty regular, as well as the double jointed knees, the swivels, the thighs, uh, the ball hinged hips. We have a torso joint there, upper torso. Um, we've got ball hinged wrists, uh, hinged elbows, so you get a good movement on both arms. Ball hinge in the shoulders, and we get this sweet butterfly joint in here, which Hasbro's just started doing to a couple of their Star Wars Black Series action figures. And uh, this is going to make for some more dynamic posability with these troops. Um, so I hope we see it more going forward, and particularly these... The plastic shoulder bells sort of really add to that movement and just allow allows a lot more so that's really sweet in terms of his head he's got a ball and peg joint at the bottom of the neck so you get a little bit of movement um and a lot of people saying the neck articulation wasn't that great i rinsed it under some hot water um just to get those joints moving a little bit better with some softer plastic um they've probably been sitting there in the box for for a little while um straight off the production floor so they do need a little bit of loosening up just to get them to move um and there is also a ball joint up in the top so you can get a little bit of movement probably not as good as some others in the past but still not too bad um i'm pretty happy with it but overall um not a lot of paintwork going on here except for the black um it looks as though m the, most of the figure is cast in red plastic, so um, except maybe some of the insides of the neck, uh, those sort of butterfly joints in there, um, possibly, no, that's all red. So all the black has been painted on. Uh, maybe the joints themselves um, are black, but for the most part, it's all painted uh, black on, black on pla plastic red, so that's pretty sweet. I'm really thrilled to have this guy in my collection. Um, really, really thrilled. Just really, really like the look of it. it. Looks so good. Can't wait to see them in action. We're only a few months out. Um, if you listen to my podcast that I do with my buddy Lockie, uh, Star Wars Go Figure, um, we did spend an episode a few weeks back, basically just drooling over the Sith Troopers because that was when they were first announced. Uh, it was a week before San Diego Comic Con, and we did pr did pretty much a full episode just talking about these. It was good fun, and uh, no doubt we'll bring them up again. 
So I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back with some more videos very soon. But until my next one, may the force be with you.